Hello. I had a request from a think tank in Hanoi today uh, asking permission to translate one of my books into Vietnamese. It was apposite because the book in question is called 40 Centuries of Wage and Price Controls and here in Britain the media are urging the government to impose price controls on groceries in order to stop so-called price gouging. Well, I hadn't looked at that book in years, so I went to my bookshelf and found it. Here it is, but you can download it free from Mises.org. And you know, the message is pretty clear. Since the time of Haber, when Haberabi tried to impose controls on ancient Babylon, they haven't worked. The Roman Republic put controls on grain prices. The result was a shortage of grain. In 1776, the American revolutionaries put controls on basic necessities. By 1777, they'd abandoned them due to all of the shortages that they caused. It was the same pattern in the, Second, in the First World War, in the Second World War, in Nazi Germany, in the Soviet Union, in 1970s Britain, America and Canada. Prices rise, so governments limit prices. But then the shelves are suddenly empty. This isn't rocket science. Prices rise because demand is outstripping supply. But the higher prices mean that retailers, wholesalers and producers can make themselves better off by supplying the things that are in short supply. So they put more effort and resource into making sure that the gaps are filled and customers are satisfied. But if instead you impose price controls, the shelves are stripped and they stay stripped because the demand continues to be high, but there's no extra incentive to increase supply. We've known this for 4,000 years. What makes anyone think that price controls will solve our problems today?